So why so serious, raw vegans? <laughs> oh, uh, down in Pensacola right now. Ergo in the car again. I uh, had to come down today and um, get a computer. Or, well, I ordered a computer today. They didn't have the model in that I was looking for, so they ordered it for me, and I think it's supposed to arrive in two days. It's going to be nice. I've had my computer for five years, and it's about to die. Uh, it's been on a death watch for a while now. Anyhow, though, yeah, I was just thinking today, you know, I'm kind of the clown prince, as I've told you, and I'm like, I don't have fun people to, I don't have so many fun people to play with. It's like everybody's so serious out there, uh, so stern, like you either have the ones that are almost like the Puritans, you know, we've talked about that, kind of the food police type thing uh, I mentioned in that video last week. The people that are constantly, you know, they're taking notes and they want to make sure and they're into the details and they tell everybody what you're doing wrong and how you can't eat this and you can't eat that. And just basically sucking all the joy out of uh, this raw vegan lifestyle. Not everybody. Now, I hope people know when I'm talking about this. A lot of cool people that I do uh, network with in the raw vegan thing. But I create my own world. You know, a lot of people... Um, they complain about groups they go to. They complain about what's being said on YouTube videos. Me, sometimes I take a look at them just to see what's going on, but uh, I create my own lion world. I hang out with the people I want to hang out with, and I don't go to places where it's going to be a constant uh, buzzkill, constant fight all the time. Yeah, so you got the people that every time they see a video or they get in a conversation, they've got to kind of show you that they got a little bit more knowledge. Um, yeah, it keeps going back to, I've used this word before, it's like the Puritans. They're very straight-laced and they're, they have no sense of humor generally and they're real serious about their food. Not a lot of fun, but they're serious. And then there's people that are, you know, the eternal, this gets a little bit more boring, um, but they're always, it's always detox, 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 the next level of detox, very serious. You know, we're in detox level 1.7. And now we've just uh, moved on up to Detox 2.0. It's always about detox, always going to go, about going a little deeper, always about digging and getting more of this bad stuff that we've accumulated um, through our lives. But where's the fun? You know, who out there likes to just have fun? I was thinking this morning, like, if this high-carb vegan world, let's say we had a party. Let's say we threw a party and everybody came of all different... Uh, ways of doing it, different lifestyles, you know, we had the raw vegans, we had the raw till four, we had the 80 10 tenors, we had the starch solution. I would probably be hanging out over in the side with, more with the cooked vegans, cooked food vegans, because I don't know, I just find more people out there that are fun people that I, that they resonate with me, regardless of exactly how they're eating. So, um, yeah, you know, I think I'd probably be kicking it with them. Uh, having a little bit better time because they don't seem to be so serious about everything. Uh, these days, you know, I've actually taken a little time off. Well, my computer, like I say, has been bad, and that's a reason, too, that I haven't been as diligent with uh, answering comments or making comments of my own. It's just because my computer, my actual, actually, my computer died the first night I got here, but, yeah, I've just been taking this time to kind of um, really do what I'm just talking to there. I'm talking about, you know, how I make my little networks and I go to where things are posted that I want to see or where there's a vibe that I want to be around. And I've just kind of like um, uh, cut that back a little bit on this trip to the States. And there's places where I'm just, you know, not going so much anymore. I've mentioned that before in videos that, you know, from time to time. And it's not all about the knowledge. Like every time I say this, that, you know, I'm finding less people to watch on YouTube and somebody will always recommend a channel and they're good channels. It's not so much that I'm looking for people with good information, but how do they deliver it? What kind of vibe? Are they happy, happy people? Does this, uh, does this lifestyle seem to bring a peaceful mind to them? Or, you know, I like to look at just what their essence is. I don't want to get too deep with that, but you know what I'm talking about. Like, are they very angry, aggressive people? Or are they very calm, serene people that you can see just like they found a peace about themselves. Um, definitely not the ones that are going to argue constantly over and over and over on every single, you know. I don't know how you go through that every day. Every day is the, the struggle. 
And there's some people, you know, that'll just, they just love that stuff. I, I hear people every day I read this, I read it this morning, about somebody complaining about a group that they keep going to over and over and over, where the people are just like what I'm talking about, where they're very serious, where they're judgmental. Do you see what I just said? Did you pick out what's wrong with that statement? They keep going to somewhere where they're around those type of people. See, I'm quick. I'm quick. I don't know how to, you know, I don't, I don't make things complicated in my life. If somewhere, if there's a vibe somewhere that I don't want to be around, I disappear. But it's getting less and less. You know, I'm finding less people and less areas and less groups online. I have some people that I've met in groups online that I talk to, you know, through private messages. And they're, you know, I do have quite a few people that I talk to like that that have a good head on their shoulders and aren't, aren't such just flipped out nut jobs, you know, about this. Basically the types that turn people off. But, yeah, I don't know. I Really all I'm watching these days is I watch Tanny Raw. And I'll leave somebody out. Don't listen. There's other raw vegans that I watch out there. But I'm just talking about all day, every day. And I'll probably forget somebody that I'll be like, oh, yeah, I do watch them every day. But right now, for raw vegans, Tanny Raw is about it. I watch her every day. And for one simple reason, I take something from every video, whether it's a recipe or whatever, or whether it's just a good vibe or just whether it's the way she delivers her message. Um, I take something from her. I've been watching, and they, they eat cooked food. I've been watching uh, Plant Based Athlete and uh, Banana Blondie 108. I don't know if, if any of you guys watch them. They've uh, they just moved from California to Miami, and I find that really interesting because they ate a lot more cooked food in LA. I, not LA. I think yeah, it may have been LA where they live. But anyway, out in California, there were a lot more restaurants and a lot more you know places to go. And there was also a different type. You know, they didn't have all the tropical fruit. And plus with the climate, so they said since they've been in the hot, humid heat of Miami, they've been eating a lot more uh, raw food. And they just resonate with me. I don't care, you know, they don't eat exactly like I do. But they have, I like their message. I like the way they deliver their message. And they're the kind of people that are thriving on their lifestyle, so there's really no, no way to argue with them. Um, and, oh, and I know what, to tie them in, like, I know that even though they're cooked food people, they really, I've heard them give a shout out to Tanny Raw also, so they appreciate, they appreciate knowledge from raw vegans when it's not, you know, this crazy in your face, picking it apart, you know, trying to just get down into the deepest details of it. Anyhow, I don't want this one to ramble on for too long. Um, like I say, I just, the, the biggest thing I can finish off with is, you know, there's always, it's become just like one of the buzz phrases in our um, in our high carb vegan lifestyle. Carb the f up. Everybody is carb the f up. Carb the f up. Everybody's jumped in on that one. And I would just like to say lighten the f up. You know, chill out. Um, let's just enjoy this thing. You know, I enjoy eating. I don't want to get all serious about it. I don't want to get all deep about it. I don't want to be thinking about uh, you know just trying to go deeper all the time. I just want to enjoy it where I am here and now. Anyhow, hope you guys like this video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Hope you'll subscribe to the channel and halfway through the week, hope you're having a wonderful week. I love you guys. Peace.